Good morning. On January 3 of this year, I filed a complaint requesting a full rate hike rehearing along with 425 additional APS customers. I did this after noticing my electric bills had increased well above the APS purported 4.5%, even though I was using less power than last year, both on and off peak. On April 16th, Administrative Law Judge Jane Alrada set the schedule for how this complaint would proceed. Our expert reports are due by July 31st, and we're ready, as are the additional interveners in our case. So why is it that Commissioner Tom Faris has decided to get involved six months in by requesting that staff be involved now? Where was he six months ago? Staff is requesting that our hearing, which is currently scheduled for September 25th, be delayed until January 2019. While the APS customers who are struggling to pay their bills after the unjust and unjustified 2017 rate hike can't and shouldn't have to wait that long. Arizona Power Service, Pinnacle West, have spent millions of dollars on the campaigns of those who now regulate them. CEO Don Brandt makes more than $1 million per month. While I receive notes and calls from seniors, single moms, cancer patients, and others who tell me their power bill is now half of their monthly income. We are breaking heat records every year. Yesterday, I believe, was one of those days. And AC is not an option. It's literally life or death. Yet, Mr. Faris is looking to stall this process, which is not only unfair to me, but it's incredibly unfair to the nearly 6,000 people who have signed the petition to date requesting a full rate hike rehearing. This political theater must stop. The corruption in our state needs to be reeled in. And most importantly, our elected officials need to remember they're supposed to be public servants. And it's high time for them to actually serve the public's best interest instead of corporations and utility monopolies. Enough is enough, and I would ask everyone to check out our legal fund for this true David versus corporate Goliath battle at fundedjustice.com backslash stop the APS greed. Thank you. And this is Adam Stafford, who's my attorney in this matter. And can we get your name for the record? Oh, yes. My name is Stacy S-T-A-C-E-Y, Champion, C-H-A-M-P-I-O-N. Thank you. Thanks. I think uh, Stacy summed it up. Uh, we intend to go to the procedural conference now and uh, vigorously oppose uh, staff intervening at this late stage of the proceeding and uh, delaying the process. Justice delayed is justice denied. That's it. Good. Right. Anybody have any questions? So what is it exactly that you're looking for today? We're looking for, do you want to answer? To maintain the current schedule for the case. And what is the schedule look, look, look like right now? Like she said, uh, our testimony is due on July 31st. We've been working diligently to prepare for that. We will have it ready by the 31st. Uh, we have the rebuttal is available, and APS has to file theirs as well by that same date. The uh, rebuttals will be due, what, two weeks after that, and the, yeah. and the hearing is set for September, September 25th. 25th. Um, the proposal from staff pushes the hearing out to January 9th or later, and the uh, testimony and, and initial expert reports out to October. Which is also post-election. So Oops. we've been working hard. We're ready to proceed. And we, uh, I think uh, due process demands that we continue with the schedule we have.